What are you really getting when you go to a med spa type treatment facility? Well, the ABC 7 I team discovered that depends on what state you're in. A I team investigator Josie Sturman is in the newsroom to explain why. Josie. Allison, because these treatments are so popular, states are now being forced to define not where, but who can do them legally. But it's really confusing, not just to the clients, but also the practitioners as all these regulations change. For example, laser hair removal is now considered a surgical act in Maryland, and that state is actually cracking down to keep you safe. On her website, Deborah Winter says she's continuing her hands-on skin care practice. But the Maryland Board of Physicians seems to think she was a little too hands-on. The agency recently civilly charged her with practicing medicine without a license. Winter was working out of this Chevy Chase office building, with records showing she admitted to the board she did certain treatments that fall into the cosmetic medical procedures category, the kinds of treatments that are big business these days. People are very vain. Um, they, look, they like to look good, so they'll pretty much go through whatever it takes to do so. But in Maryland, many med spa type treatments take a physician's hand or at least their supervision. It's the law and the state is cracking down. Deborah Winter is one of nine people charged or fined by the board this year alone for practicing without a license for doing treatments like microdermabrasion or laser hair removal. Some of the procedures are seemingly easy to perform. And when everything goes right, sure they are. But board-certified dermatologist Roberta Palestine says physicians should always be involved for when things go wrong and to take a comprehensive look at the patient before and after. Point is to do it safely and appropriately and evaluate the person and make sure that the treatment is appropriate for that person. That may be one reason Maryland toughened its laws to give med spa type treatments more oversight. D.C., where Deborah Winter moved her skincare business earlier this year, is doing the same. Potential clients understand why. Especially when it comes to beautifying yourself, I don't really think you want to mess with your appearance and leave it to someone who might not be as credible. We do not know if Winter is under the supervision of a doctor in her new location. We contacted her multiple times by email and by phone, but she did not respond. Records show she told Maryland's board she was not fully aware of changes in regulation. Now, the D.C. Board of Medicine tells us investigators have been notified about Maryland's charge. That board recently published regulations similar to Maryland. Josie Sturman, ABC 7 News. All right, Josie.